everyone and welcome to this week's tutorial uh, for Power BI for Sports Science. Uh, we are going to power performance through data this week by creating a z-score or a standard score for our wellness measures. Uh, a z-score is or a standard score gives you an idea of from uh, how far from the mean a data point is. Uh, so in more technical terms it's the number of SD above or below the mean a raw score value is. So for example we have our sleep quality and we see from today that we're at 5 but our average is only a 3. It'll tell us how many standard deviations above we are. Uh, continuing on from last week you can see that I have added a few more or our other measures so that we have our rolling average and standard deviation data for all of our uh, metrics. And so as I said today we're going to create another graph up the top here that creates a single Z score uh, for all of our uh, our values. So let's get started straight away. Um, and what we're going to do for these uh, Z scores, we're going to create columns. This just makes it a little bit easier to identify or use the single value for a given day. Uh, so for this one, we're going to create our Z score for energy here. And we're just going to equals. Oh, that should be an equals. And then for this one, we're going to use var and then underscore athlete. And we're just going to find uh, the name of the athlete. Wellness data name. There we go. And then we're going to have today's score. Oops. Meant to be an underscore today equals. And this time we're going to use uh, energy. And then we're going to create the average for this value, or for this measure, I should say. And so we're going to use average x for this because we would like to filter our table. We're going to, so we're going to filter, we're going to use all, and we're going to find all our wellness data. And then we're going to filter it to the name of the athlete. So we need to use wellness data name equals underscore athlete. So that's step one, and then we're just going to put our measure here. So this is going to be, or our value, sorry, I should say our value column, which is energy. So that's step one. Second step, we're going to create our standard deviation, very much the same way, but we're going to use standard div xp this time. And we're going to do the same thing and filter to all of our data and wellness data. And then again, the name of the athlete. And then again, we're going to use energy, just like that. And then all we're going to do, nice and simple, is we're going to return. And for this, we're going to use our today score minus our average. And we're going to divide it by our standard deviation here. So there we have that nice and simply. I've got a, uh, a figure or a graph already created here, and I'm just going to add this to our uh, our column. And what I'm going to do, I just need to get rid of our start point. So let's just make this say minus 5 for now. So as you can see, there are days where they are above or below, or as well, they might be right on it. So this just shows you the days where they are really above or below uh, what they should be. So for example, if we find the 28th of March here, uh, it says that the Z score is 1.5. If we go to energy and find the, the 24th of March, we find that their score is a five, their average is a 3.27 on a rolling average. So you can see that they are above if we were to put a straight average line here, you would see that above quite easily. So then the next thing we're going to do, I've already created our other columns for our other ones, and I've started a measure for our z-score. And so all I'm going to do is just add our new uh, z-score value onto the end. So let's just find that in our column. So z-score energy, enter. So now let's remove Z score energy from there and we'll just add Z score as a value. So here we go. 
Now we have an overall score for or standard score for a given day for a player, which will take into account all of the measures we've used. Uh, what we can do is we can add some coloring to this to give us an idea of uh, if it's good or bad. So a nice way to kind of look at it is that anything that is greater than zero. So I'm going to add three here. So we'll start with the last one. Anything that's equal to or greater than zero. And we can just put this as 100. It doesn't really matter. We're going to say is good. So we'll just use green here. I like to use sort of lighter colors so they don't overpower. For our purposes, we'll just use, say, a negative one. And we want them to be less than zero. And we'll say that that's like a warning. You might want to talk to that athlete if you get the chance. And then anything that is, we're going to say greater than or equal to negative 100, because it doesn't really matter, but less than 1. Those are the players we're going to be worried about, and we're going to want to talk to. If we click OK, Ooh, I've used the wrong thing there, haven't I? We don't want date, we want Z score. There we go. Click OK. And there we go. So now we can see there are a lot of red days for this athlete, a few warning days, and a few days that are good. Now if we switch through our athletes, we can see the differences. And you'll be able to see when a player is good or bad on a given day. Some players might be often pretty good, but they'll have one day where their, their values are off for a couple of metrics and that'll pull their Z-score down fully. So use these as a, high, as a guideline, but always look into each metric and maybe use a conversation with the athlete to find out what's going on. But there we have it, a nice easy way to see if your player is doing good or bad on a given day. As I said, this could be a conversation starter, so don't use this as the holy grail, as, as a way of pulling a player or an athlete out of a training session. Just use it to start a conversation to find out if there's anything you can do to help. I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, please make sure you hit like below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you can find out when future videos are posted. And I hope to see you guys next time when we will continue to power performance through data. Thank you.